Knowing how to create a filter is a really important part of managing your, your mailbox. Mail filters can help you manage your inbox automatically. In this scenario, we're going to create a basic filter. We're going to create a filter that will apply a label to mail each time it comes in. We'll use payroll as an example. Now let's say that every time you get a message from Google Administrator with your payroll receipt, you want it labeled payroll. Rather than having to select it, open it, and label it payroll each time it comes in, you can create a filter. So with either the message selected and choosing more, or with the message open and selecting more, you can find filter messages like these. So we're going to filter these payroll receipt emails. Go ahead and find an email in your mailbox that you can use for this example as practice. And then choose more and select filter messages like these. Now, not necessarily when admin at SAU 43 sends me mail, it will it be a payroll receipt. But if the subject, if it has the words payroll in it, and it comes from admin at SAU 43, I want to create a filter with this search. And what I want to happen is I want to apply the label. So I'm going to select the box, apply the label, and I'll choose the label off a list. If I don't have a label created for it, I can create a new one now. I'm going to label it payroll. Once I do that, I have the option of also applying the filter to one matching conversation. So I'm going to check this box. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on Create Filter. Each time mail comes in from Google Administrator with the word payroll in it, the label payroll will be applied. I'm going to show you one more filter. Let's say you have an inbox full of mm, mail from Always Unwanted. You want to get rid of the mail. You keep deleting it. You've tried to unsubscribe, but you keep getting mail from Always Unwanted. Well, let's stop that from happening right now. You can select that mail and choose more filter messages like these. Every time I get mail from Always Unwanted now, I'm going to create a filter with that search. I'm going to skip the inbox, and I'm going to automatically delete it. I'm also going to apply the filter to the matching conversations. So if I had 50 of these emails in my inbox, I would be deleting all 50 right now by clicking Create Filter. So if you have an inbox full of many, many, many emails from the same sender that you want to either delete or maybe move to a, a label, use Filter to do that. It can help you clean up your inbox really quick and help you manage it down the road.